I came to Almeria to, to do the cutting of Once Upon a Time in the West and uh, I, ca I came with the, the big treatment of uh, Dakio Sake. Sergio intended to close his Western uh, saga with Once Upon a Time in the West. He just wanted to produce uh, Dakio Sake. He had a nice uh, intuition uh, choosing Bog Peter Bogdanovich. He saw he's the, the, the only movie that Bogdanovich, he said, this is a talented guy, but Bogdanovich wanted to do a Bogdanovich movie, not a Sergio Leone movie. That was his problem. Sergio wanted to have another Sergio Leone behind the camera, no? And he told the movie to Bogdanovich, and he said, zoom, what, what, <laughs> zoom, what. What? But then I just say, no, I, I hate zooms. I never use zooms. <laughs> what? 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 He tried many directors, you know, you know, and also Giancarlo Santi started to, to direct the movie for one or two days until Rostag came on the set. No! Sergio said to Steiger, uh, Giancarlo is like me, I tell him uh, all uh, the shots and he does. And Steiger said, okay, tomorrow I send my cousin on the set and I tell him uh, how to act. And <laughs> then he called the manager and the manager said, Leone, come on, <laughs> please. He was forced. Listen to me, you son of a bitch. You pull that trick on me one more time, I break your goddamn head. But there's not much of Leone in the script. I was more free to, to on, on the script because it, it wasn't his movie, no? You make the holes with the holy water and I walk in and do the dirty work, eh? No. I had a big fight with Sergio during this uh, period and I said, but so I'm out. And then he called me back. And, uh, hmm. We worked together for, I don't know, three or four weeks, just sitting around the table and talking, telling the, the, the scenes, you know? It was uh, astonishing because I, I never take notes, almost never, no? After the day work, it was 10, 10 uh, lines. Because if uh, I'm convinced, uh, uh, I'm not, I, I don't need to take notes, huh? What is your name? John. My name is Juan and yours is John. It's Juan and John, eh? <laughs> so what? We talked about characters, you know. That is, that is the, oh, uh, destiny. Uh, we had the uh, Tuco character, because I wrote the script for Eli Wallach, obviously. It was a peon, simple, big sense of family and honor and so on, and meeting with a deluded uh, revolutionary uh, who was disillusioned about uh, this thing. You come here to join the revolution? Oh, one was enough for me. Sergio had inside the idea of the dynamite uh, Irishman and the Mexican bandit put together. It was a story of two guys in a political context. If it's a choice I have to make between a chicken thief and ridding the world of a few uniforms, I'll not be choosing the chicken thief. 
They was interested in the many of such different characters. A man who has lost all his hopes in a better world and the man who was forced to become a, a revolutionary. You're a grand hero of the revolution now. Viva Barani! Unfortunately, Sergio took uh, some biblical time, uh, a movie every 10, 12 years, it was too much. He started to think uh, bigger and bigger and bigger movie. His uh, idea was David Lee. And I said, Sergio, get back a little. Let, let's do a, a, a black and white uh, thriller. But uh, he was the kind of director who, at the moment of his career, they had more fun uh, talking about what he did uh, than doing movies, no? He'll make you a general. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to be a general. <laughs> That's a pity, because in 20 years he made only two movies. That's a loss for, <laughs> for cinematic culture. <laughs> 